All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a sort of series review now that the finale for the second season has aired of Amazon Prime's The Boys. All right, and I will try to keep this review mostly spoiler free for anyone who has not seen the boys series yet on Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description uh, to sign up for an Amazon Prime uh, video account if you guys want to go ahead and uh, and check it out. They got like a free trial, all that stuff, where you can watch every episode of the boys streaming if you either missed any, haven't seen certain ones, or, or haven't seen it at all. I cannot recommend this series enough. It is an extremely fun superhero series. It's a new take on kind of the superhero genre, and I believe it has already been confirmed for a third season. Now, whenever that eventually gets done, we don't know. We'll have to see because of uh, how much things have changed with regards to production times and everything uh, for uh, for shows and movies and everything in uh, in Hollywood with, um, you know, the whole uh, situation this year with COVID and everything and safety, safety guidelines, social distancing and all that, all that crazy stuff. So however they're, uh, they, and I think most studios are kind of back into production now or they're back in the swing of things now, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's probably going to take longer for them to do a season of a show. It'll probably look a little bit different. Um, so things will be uh, different, but most likely next year, or maybe maybe delayed the year after, we'll see the third season of the uh, the boys. So uh, first couple seasons, Amazon Prime. If you already have an Amazon Prime account, you can just basically sign in. It's at the top right hand corner. Uh, it's called Prime Video, and I want to say this is probably Amazon's premier series. This is their best. Uh, series I think they have. Now they have quite a few good series like Utopia as well. I did a review for the first season of that. And uh, they have some others too that are that are pretty good. But I want to say that um, uh, The Boys is Amazon's premier streaming series. It's sort of to uh, what Stranger Things is to Netflix, what Game of Thrones is to HBO, what The Walking Dead is for AMC, The Boys is for Amazon. Uh, and now that it's finished its second season, uh, I really cannot recommend it enough. If you're a fan of superhero movies or superhero stuff, uh, to sum up what The Boys pretty much is, is it's sort of a hyper-realistic take on what it would be like, what a universe would be like if superheroes were real. So if you had actual superheroes, if you had an actual Superman, if you had actual supervillains, what would that look like and how would they behave? And so it's sort of like halfway between kind of real life and what we're what we're used to in the real world and maybe like a DC universe where you have like a Justice League and, um, you know, they, uh, they you know, a super team and uh, you have Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, the others. Uh, very similar to that with uh, set the seven in this led by Homelander. And Homelander is basically their Superman. But he's actually not a good guy uh, at all. <laughs> he is. Uh, he's uh, he's kind of crazy. I won't give away too much. But he he seems like the propaganda. He seems like a good guy to um, to the uh, the people. Um, but he behind the scenes is not at all. He'll murder people. He'll cut them in half with his eye lasers. He'll do uh, all kinds of stuff. Sometimes he'll he'll miss miss fire or he'll shoot through things and hit someone else <laughs> accidentally. And uh, he's just a real he's a real bastard. Um, so so that's one faction that you have is you have Vought with the seven, which are like your uh, kind of maybe an evil Justice League or like a taking Justice League, putting them in the real world, make them flawed, and that's kind of what they uh, what they end up being. Uh, you have Stargirl in there as well, uh, Black Noir. Um, one of my personal favorites, The Deep, who starts off as a full-on villain and by the second season becomes... Uh, uh, kind of an anti uh, anti hero maybe, or just kind of a comedy comedy a comedy show. Like there's a scene where the boys are kind of getting away in a speedboat in season two, and uh, this was in the trailer. I'm not giving away too much. And so the deep is basically Aquaman. He's Aquaman in this universe. So he the full gamut. He can talk to fish. He talks to crabs. He has friendships with them. He um, you know they're like his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he relates to them. So you have the boys in the speedboat as they're trying to get away, and they're they're trying to go into a kind of a, a storm drain type of thing to kind of get away from being chased by everybody they're being chased by. And you have the deep who kind of comes in. So you have a whole bunch of 
you know, fish and I don't know if they're sharks or whatever, kind of ramming the boat and what have you. And then the deep comes in riding this, you know, a, a, like a giant whale. And so uh, very fast too. So he's like ramming the boat and then he goes, he goes in front to block off the storm drain from the, the boys on the speedboat. And he kind of stands on top of the, uh, the whale, like all proud, like, like all superhero esque. And then the boys don't give a shit. So they speed up even faster and drive it right into the, uh, the whale, killing the whale and like going inside the whale. Uh, and then the deep flies off the top and gets like a concussion because he like falls down, hits his head and stuff, and kind of gets knocked out for a while. It's hilarious. And of course, the uh, the whale has to be, has to be named Lucy. It just uh, it it has to be. Uh, so really fun stuff. And there's there's lots of parts like that. I won't give too much away. But the first season finale is pretty amazing. Got some really cool twists in it and stuff like that. The second season finale is also really good. And I'd say that um, you know it starts off a little slow at the beginning. Um, you know, when the series first starts, the first couple episodes. But by the time you see the season one finale, I think you'll probably be hooked on the boys. If you like superhero stuff, by the time you see episode eight of season one, you'll be like, okay, this is freaking awesome. Uh, season two as well, I feel like, can I say it gets even better? We have Stormfront, who's introduced, and we have kind of a continuation of a lot of the storyline as it's going. Um, you know, may maybe season two is better than the first season. I don't know. It it's kind of, uh, it, it depends what you like. But uh, like I said, you have the deep joining the collective, which is sort of like the Hellfire Club or something like this. Um, and uh, it's just, it's really fun. There's a lot of silly stuff mixed in, comedy, and some really dark humor. Um, you know, you have like, uh, I say like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'll spoil it, but, uh, you know, some kind of uh, sexual stuff in it, too, that's also really funny. And um, it's just, it's pretty awesome all around. So the first two seasons of The Boys, I kind of binged through it mostly this week. Uh, well, the second season, the first season I had seen a little bit prior. But um, it's, it's really amazing. I'm going to give it a, a 9 out of 10. I think it's great. Really cool to see. And especially, like I said, if you're in that demographic that likes superhero stuff and you want to check it out, you want to check out a new series... Um, the boys is an awesome one to, uh, to check out, but give it a little bit because, um, the first couple episodes, it's like, you know, you might not be that into it, but some of the characters are really great. Uh, Billy Butcher's awesome. Uh, Huey and, uh, and Starlight and the others, uh, really good stuff. So, um, that's it for this, uh, series review so far for what is out there for the boys. I am excited to see season three. There was kind of a rumor that JDM who plays Negan and the walking dead, uh, and, and the comedian and Watchmen might be in it for the third season of The Boys, and I, I really hope he is, because I think that would just be amazing. So uh, definitely check it out. Check out The Boys. I can't recommend it highly enough. And if you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share. Uh, share through with the tool at the bottom to your other social media accounts. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're if you're new here. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.